So we're going to have a bit of a chat about the difference between winter and summer golf. So obviously a lot of players come in saying how much difference they're experiencing between playing in wet, cold winter weather and then the warm, firm summer temperatures. So Mark's going to hit a few shots. We're going to look at the Trackman data about what a temperature difference gives, but then also have a bit of a discussion about all the other factors that come into play. So Mark's going to hit a few. Try to. <laughs> We'll get a sample of maybe three or four shots that Mark's happy with. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. The 149 <laughs> smash. <laughs> a foot off line. I know, I know yeah. I'd like another 10 miles an hour club speed yeah. there, but. Yeah. <laughs> Just a hair low, low heel that. I'll just get one more solid one, it'll be enough to yep. do the data with. Okay, great, perfect. So what we can do with the, with the trackman data, we can set the temperature and then normalize it. And then that gives us the differential between. So we'll start off, I'll go into the screen, I'll set the, uh, Let's start off with the summer temperature. So if we get up to you know, Celsius, we go up to 30 degrees. So a nice sort of hot, hot summer day. What we'll see here, if I hit normalize, so not too different in the, the base temperature on here is sort of 18, 20 degrees. So not a vast difference. So we're looking at carry 235. And this is, this is purely air temperature. So it doesn't affect anything else. It's still the same, um, same standardized ground conditions from a run out point of view. Um, so you carry just on 235, total 259. So if we then change that up and change the, uh, the temperature to zero, and then hit normalize, oh. 246. So we've basically lost 10 yards, 10, yeah. 12 yards. Yeah. So going from a 235 odd carry, 258 total to 226 carry to 246. So, um, that's so purely air temperature, that. Yeah. So not as much as one might think. However, that's but purely based on the ball flight. Lots of other factors going mm. on. Yeah. We've just done a test today with the temperature of the ball mm. and a little bit less speed. Yeah. So you, if you say factor in at that zero Celsius, a colder ball as yeah. well. Another few miles A little now. bit, yeah. Mm. Softer ground conditions, well, saying if it's zero, it'd be harder. <laughs> but if it was softer, softer ground conditions, yeah. you're going to lose a bit. Yeah. Your muscles are cold. Mm. You're not as flexible. And I'd say that's probably one of the bigger factors is you go from in summer, you're, it's a, you know, warm air, warm muscles, wearing a T-shirt and probably shorts, um, you know, full range of motion to then go down to zero degrees. You're going to be wearing you know, thermal layers, sweaters, roll necks. You know, muscles can't move as well, no, no. restricted turn from both a clothing and a, and a temperature point of view. I'll take it a step further, that your footing. Yeah. Footing, grounding, mm. uh, firmer conditions, drier conditions. Yeah. I feel I've always got more leverage with yeah. a good footing. It's another factor. I know it, it's something yeah. that you wouldn't ever look well, at. I say whether, it's, it's, whether it's frozen, if it's frozen, then oh. you're going to be skating around. Oh. And if it's soft, there's, there's less resistance, you're going to move a little bit. No, more. I don't think Tor, yeah. Torville and Dean were particularly the longest drivers. <laughs> 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 Look good in purple though. Yeah. Um, so, so I think what we can factor in there is we're seeing about a, let's say on a on a 250-260 yard drive about a 10 to 10 to say 10 to 15 yard difference purely for raw temperature. I would generally be looking. I think you can you can factor in far more the other factors far more of a difference in distance because of those. You take soft ground. Well, you get the run out when the ground's firm in summer and you're kicking on. So you're getting you know, 20, 25 yards of run out on your drive there on normal kind of like a springtime. In summer, it's hard and baked. You're going to get another 10 to 20 yards or more. Um, but when it's wet in winter, it lands and stops. So you're then getting five yards. So actually, your winter distance to a normal kind of average spring day. You drop from 255 to 260, you're dropping back to more like 230 mm. because it's pitching at 225 and that's about it. So actually there's 25 to 30 yards. You, you get the 20 yards run out, 15 to 20 you get in summer. We're then looking at 40, 45 yards. Um, 
that starts to then, and that, that, that then doesn't take into account the body not functioning as well as well. You know, for drive, you're looking at maybe 60 yards. Yeah. So for every golf hole you play, that's that off a driver. You're definitely losing another couple of clubs on irons as well. You're I'm potentially take 70 or 80. I'm going to take this a yeah. step further. Yeah. An ill-fitted driver on top. Yeah. Summer conditions, yeah. loads of run. Yeah, yeah. Not really seeing the transparency of that driver spec. Mm. That in the winter you will, particularly yeah. if it's if it's too low a flight and spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you really will see a drop off in performance. Mm. Yeah, where the ground so, can make yeah, the difference in the summer. Exactly yeah, yeah. that, exactly that. Mm. And that's where people will come through the door in the winter and say, I seem to have lost a lot of distance recently. Yeah. You look at their numbers. They can be yeah. so, so the effect of a well-fitted driver yeah. and the performance of uh, through a whole season, winter mm. against summer, and less differential on a well-fitted driver. Yeah, yeah and, so, and all of that, all that told on a, on a, on a longish par four, and you're getting close to 80 yards difference, almost the whole playing 70 or 80 yards longer. Um, because you know, both on the tee shot, you're losing, say, 40, 45 yards, another 20, 25 on the, on the second shot. Yeah, that, that ranks up pretty quickly. So it's no wonder you get, get holes in the summer that you're hitting a, a driver and a short oh, yeah. iron into that you're hitting two, getting two head covers out in the winter. Um, so whilst the temperature alone doesn't make a huge difference, actually the thing to really think about is your, your distance in winter is your carry distance. And that's the bit I think that we all forget about when we're doing, Very when much we're doing so, these yeah. and then ramp the temperatures back as well. So um, plenty to think about when you're playing, say, winter to summer golf. Uh, and because it's a bit of a gradual process most of the time, the, the distance gradually ekes back, rather than obviously going from baked out July fairway to a, you know, like we've got out here at the moment. Um, but yeah, really do factor in that there's a major, major downshift when you get into mm. winter and don't be disappointed by having to hit a lot more. No, clock. I think people have to be very realistic to see the downturn and, and not and, and play to their strengths in winter mm. golf. Uh, yeah. Don't don't try and press for something that they can't achieve. No, yeah, because it's, cause it's not going to bounce <clears throat> on. No, <laughs> especially especially I mean, where I play with a lot of false fronts to greens. So if you hit that slope, it's stopping dead. If anything, it's just going into the ground and, and you're going to have to get your pitch mark repair to get the ball out. So, yeah, plenty to factor in. And so don't be disappointed by having to hit three, four, sometimes even five more clubs in certain conditions mm. because you know, the, the, overall, the overall change in atmosphere, body uh, and ground conditions yeah. can make a massive difference. Yeah.